Home and Bound Daily Devotional by Alan G. White God's People Not Deceived November 14th Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chamber, believe it not. Matthew chapter 24 verse 26 But the people of God will not be misled. The teachings of this false Christ are not in accordance with Scripture. His blessing is pronounced upon the worshippers of the beast and his image, the very class upon whom the Bible declares that God's unmingled wrath shall be poured out. And furthermore, Satan is not permitted to defeat the manner of Christ's advent. The Saviour has warned his people against deception upon this point and has clearly foretold the manner of his second coming. For as lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Matthew chapter 24, verse 24 to 27 and 31. This coming there is no possibility of counterfeiting. It will be universally known, witnessed by the whole world. Only those who have been diligent students of scripture and who have received the love of the truth will be shielded from the powerful delusions that take the world captive. By the Bible testimonies, these will protect the deceiver in his disguise to all the testing shall come. By the sifting of temptation, the genuine Christian will be revealed. Are the people of God now so firmly established upon his word that they would not yield to the evidence of their senses? Would they, in such a crisis, cling to the Bible and the Bible only? Satan will, if possible, prevent them from obtaining a preparation to stand in that day. He will so arrange affairs as to hedge up their way, entangle them with earthly treasures, cause them to carry a heavy, wearisome burden, that their hearts may be overcharged with the cares of this life, and the day of trial may come upon them as a thief. As the decree issued by the various rulers of Christendom against commandment keepers shall withdraw the protection of government and abandon them to those who desire their destruction, the people of God will flee from the cities and villages and associate together in companies, dwelling in most desolate and solitary places. Many will find refuge in the stronghold of the mountains. Like the Christians of the Piedmont Valley, they will make their high, the high places of the earth their sanctuaries and will thank God for the munitions of rock. Isaiah chapter 33 verse 16 But many of all nations and of all class, high and low, rich and poor, black and white, will be cast into the most unjust and cruel bondage. This is your daily devotional. We thank you for listening. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Homeward Bound